Worcestershire. If you've been to a great gig, send us your pics. Intro HW at bbc.co.uk. BBC introducing in Hereford and Worcester. Now, a Worcester filmmaker has launched a new series looking at music production in the county. Jim Lowe's series on the record documents what life's like on the road for our local industry professionals. Well, this week we meet one of our area's most prolific fiddle players, John Joe Murray. <laughs> And he starts by explaining how he got inspired in music by his grandfather, who was American. He was always the American boy in the village, so he clung on to his Irish heritage quite strongly. Moved to, back to New York, where they had my dad. and So it's an Irish tradition within the family, even though we're just generations of people pretending to be Irish. The streets would be absolutely filled with Cayley bands, and then there'd be like built-in competitions, so you walk into a room and there's five people doing a contest of <laughs> like whistling and all these mad traditions but it was mostly pubs filled with like 50 musicians or something and 20 fiddles drummers I remember a guy who's like playing the Jaws harp and you know that stayed very much with me playing in the street street music so that was his foundation in music but can you remember his first band older sister mandolin my mum on recorder, my dad on guitar, and my little sister on triangle and tambourine. But like, it's been absolutely wonderful watching him play with bands like Robinson, who we can hear at the moment, and also uh, the Rational Circus. But this group as well, more recently, talking about Johnny Kowalski and the Sexy Weirdos. So we had three gigs booked. Didn't have a van until a week before. Drove to Prague. Sparks out the exhaust at one point, but. Uh, we were going about 80 miles an hour. <laughs> but first thing we did was went busking in the big old uh, Starry Mesto, the big old town square. Good crowd of tourists and that, and played a little venue, and went on to Leipzig where we had a, a gig booked in a, on a trailer park. We didn't have another gig booked, that's, that was Friday and Saturday, and we didn't have another gig booked till the Wednesday. We went to Berlin, so people had some friends there, so we had, had a place to stay. I found an open mic night. Narrowly avoided getting the van towed away and parking on a bus lane. Went around busking in Berlin for the day and then found a gig in a venue that night. And then drove through the night 700 miles from Berlin to Ghent. Did the same there. Found a gig to play in the evening and uh, was like, oh, free bar, help yourself to the Belgian beers. <laughs> Passed the hat round, the owner gave us a load of money for petrol and that. And, uh, following day, drove to Caen in France, North France, in a little bar with a funny little band that reminded me of the Toxic Pigeon, and like, yeah, went to a house, got really looked after, and fed and watered, and, and the amazing thing is, even though we only had three gigs booked, because of this magical busking malarkey where you can put your hat out there, we, we managed to end up 35 euros up. Wonderful stories, and you can catch them all on that YouTube account. What you need to do is go over to bbc.co.uk slash Hereford and Worcester slash introducing, and you'll find a link across from our page. Unsigned, undiscovered, and under the radar music. Send your MySpace, Reverb Nation, or Facebook page to us. Intro HW at bbc.co.uk. 